font hero and bricks integration and why it's important as you can see bricks also have the option to self-host the fonts but it's also the just the limited settings if we go to the font hero and if we open or inspect one of the font faces what you can see besides the uploading font files we also providing the option for a font display and swap option is also really important because then it's going to load uh, the css and the html and after that after the font file is loaded it's going to swap from the default to your custom font so the website doesn't need to or the user doesn't need to wait for the fonts to be loaded to kind of see the text and that is really crucial for the performance also we have the option to preload and that's uh, usually for the headlines the swap is really uh, big and uh, noticeable and you can actually uh, preload just uh, one font face to be uh, loaded before uh, the content is displayed also uh, besides the static fonts for the font hero we also introduced the variable fonts uh, integration that bricks doesn't have and it's uh, really important to use the variable fonts if you have them because they're much much smaller in size so you can see how um, big performance improvements we introduced with the font hero and how crucial it's going to be even with the bricks builder let me just uh, quickly jump to the bricks builder to uh, showcase how it's going to look from inside and if you go to the font settings and then font family you can see we have the mono headline sub headline and body and it's a native integration uh, with the bricks as well so you can just switch between the font families and it's going to change it inside the builder right away so uh, thank you for watching and bye